Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the newest form of cooking available uh, in, uh, in appliances today which is the induction form of electric cooking. So the main difference compared to uh, first of all gas is gas obviously when we turn it on uh, generates a flame which uh, gives us an immediate uh, radiant effect straight onto the base of your saucepan. Um, the old style of electrics were um, electric elements generating heat and then of course radiating that heat directly into the base of the pan. So what we have is, instead of a radiant style of cooking, where we're actually generating the heat up into the pan, we're now turning on an induction hot plate, the actual pan into our element by the magnetic field agitating the iron molecules in the base of this pan. So what I can demonstrate to you here is, with a, uh, a pot that's been filled up to three liters of water, and of course is cold, uh, we can turn this hot plate on here and generate immediately uh, with three litres of water, which is quite a large amount of water in that, um, in that pot, uh, a very fast boiling time. What I might do is just turn my stopwatch on so we can actually see how long that takes, but we might try it on the gas one over here in a minute. The advantage of the electric uh, induction style of cooking is we have 18 different levels of power available, so I can have it as low as I want, where I can still leave uh, my hand inside the pan and be melting chocolate, or I can go right up and be boiling um, uh, water. And we can see here that this pot of water, if I was doing my pasta at night time, uh, we've already got plenty of bubbles forming inside uh, and it's only just about to tick over two minutes and this pot is nearly uh, uh, nearly boiling so in about two and a half minutes we will have brought three litres of water to boil in this pot and the amazing thing is you can see my hands are sitting right up close to this pot the glass itself is cold um, the only heat that is available here is via the pot itself um, and any heat that comes into the glass uh, is actually being generated by the pot back into the glass not from the glass up into the pot in the traditional style of the cooktops. And a nice advantage we see with this form of cooking is that I can, um, as this comes to the boil, slide some paper towel between the pot and the actual um, uh, glass. And of course on a gas or a radiant style electric we would see that this particular uh, 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 paper towel would catch on fire. Um, but we'll see, it'll just allow this to come to boil now uh, nice and fast and we'll take the paper towel out shortly and see that there is actually no scorch mark, nothing on the base of this pot. I'm going to just show you how fast the induction responds um, by just turning that off right now. So I've turned that off, the water is now immediately coming away from the boil and we have no boiling water. At the same point in time, I'm just going to turn that back onto the full boil. Bear in mind our paper is still beneath the pot. You can see how fast that came straight back to the boil. If I lift my pot off the actual surface of the cooktop. Um, there is no, of course, uh, magnetic field here. You can see my hand is now on the surface of the glass. The piece of uh, paper towel is there. I have no burn mark on the paper towel, which is just quite amazing if you just saw how fast uh, this was burning. As soon as I slide my pot back in contact, the magnetic field is re-engaged, and automatically, without having to touch the buttons, my pot is boiling again. And as, you, as we've seen before, I have no uh, heat spread, uh, no danger on this surface and I've got a wet sponge over here so I have if I boiled my milk over or I had a bit of oil that had spilled out of the pot on the side I could just move my pan out of the road come over here with a wet sponge and I'll just move that so you can see it and we'll actually have the ability to immediately wipe that down and have no burning, I'm not burning my sponge I can touch this even though it's been boiling uh, it's quite hot but not hot to burn so what we have is the safest form of cooking available um, uh, in, in an actual cooktop. And again, I'll just pop that straight back there, the magnets will re-engage, and that pan will come back to the boil. Uh, compared to gas, where we are actually isolating our heat, or, or concentrating our heat directly to a certain location, if I was to bring over a, uh, you know, a fry pan with a nice broad base, because I've got the magnetic um, particles in the base of this uh, pot all the way across, and my magnetic field can, can actually affect the whole base of the pot, um, I get a beautiful even spread of temperature right across the whole base of this fry pan. And so what that leads to is um, very, very even cooking, very, very even heat distribution, and um, that is certainly a result we're looking for. When we're using gas and the gas flame is on, we have a very concentrated style of heat that tends to generate obviously hot spots in the middle of much bigger and broader fry pans. To demonstrate the difference between the speeds of induction versus the gas, what I've got here now is the same pot with the same three litres of water. And we're going to now turn that on to maximum. This is the most powerful domestic gas cooktop we have in the store. I'll just start my stopwatch. With a 22 megajoule gas burner here, 
we have, as I say, the most powerful um, uh, level here to try and bring this pot, same pot as we saw over here, up to boil. So I'm going to leave that go now and just see uh, what sort of time it takes to get that uh, up to the boiling time. So here we are, we're nearly at, um, nearly at nine minutes and this is, uh, is just starting to come to the boil. Um, but I think we've pretty much clearly proven that the efficiency of the induction driving the heat uh, via the, um, uh, the iron molecules in the base of the pan is a much more efficient and much more effective way of getting um, speed and safety and efficiency through your cooking surface, whereas the gas um, certainly um, is taking a lot longer um, and we're wasting a lot of energy up the side of this pan and not having the same effectiveness.